back in the 80s and won the European Championship and it's my strong belief and goal that within the next five years we'll be challenging with the Blue Bloods at the top table. I've got a personal vengeance with France. I played them in uh, 2018 in the European Championships and uh, they give us a, a shellac for lack of a better word. Uh, so for me, going into this game is just to assert dominance, annihilate them. On the field, it's either delete or be deleted. So that's the mindset I take into every single game. Like, I go out there, uh, God forbid, I'm not trying to like truly hurt anybody, but at the same time, like, I understand it's either me or you, and in this case, it's not going to be me. Here we go, thank you. Up. Not even fucking close. Not even fucking close. I want some enthusiasm. Here we go. <laughs> that, that is what the main men are about, right? Enthusiasm. Right? I'm going to talk about some attributes today that I'm looking for in this team. The first thing I need is character. I need characterful individuals. People who will bleed for this team. People who care about the badge. People who want to see British American football succeed. That is what I need in this room. I want to talk about the fourth and goal mentality. Whether it's in the NCA or the NFL or in Division 2 books or in the British Premier League, the intensity gets turned up on fourth and goal because there's something at stake, something tangible at stake. That mentality has to be bottled, right? We have to drink it daily. We need to make sure that we have that fourth and goal mentality every single fucking play because every single fucking play we can score. Everything you do, every tackle you make, every block you secure, every time you run the ball, we're great. Our running backs are great, man. You know, running with intent, going downhill. Avoiding players where we can, but we have to running motherfuckers over. Intent. Our offensive line is the best offensive line I've ever seen in a national program. All blocks are secured with intent. That's what we're going to play with. Every single down, every single play. I'm hugely excited. For this session, for the next session, all the way through to early August, where we get to clash heads with the French. Ring a ring a down. Ring a ring a. I see him coming towards me, and I've got to get can't get through here, yeah? I can't get overtaken and blocked up the field, okay? Yeah, we need, this, we need to maintain our gap. Huh. Take a step, see so you coming, Sean, underneath. There it is, last one. Lower, lower, lower. Ready, ready? Yep. Good boys, let's not get lazy on this last one. The prep for this game started going on, I want to say, a year now. Uh, we've had about 15 or so practices. It's definitely not easy when you're spending six hours out on the field and you're feeling exhausted. But it's worth it to ensure that you're prepared and ready for the challenge that you come and face ahead. You go through it, like as a player, as a person, like there's a lot of sacrifice, day-to-day -day life, like family life. It's long days out, long weekends away. Uh, and especially to play at the highest level or to be part of a programme like this, it's, it's a lot of time and a lot of sacrifice, which I know everyone in this squad gets that, everyone understands it, and ultimately that's what it takes. There's a lot of energy. I think the guys that we have in the team really enjoy these British Lions, like coming back to Lions practices. Uh, I think it's because we get to test ourselves. We get to go away, do our stuff with our clubs, and then bring, it, bring what we've learned back here to put it against like the best of the best. Um, I think we challenge and compete every time we come and practice. Uh, I think everyone wants to show their skills that they, that they are, not only that they deserve to be here, but also that they are, we are the best in Europe. Right, so in terms of today, we are 12 to 1 in classrooms. We've got 4, 5, 6 and 9. Right, what we're going to do is we'll go classroom from 12. How long do you need coordinators? 45 yeah. minutes? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do about 20 and then we'll go into run and pass. Carolina. Um, yeah. well, so, 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 the one percent that we're missing is getting to our point and then actually 
fully executing him and just like committing to finishing that play. Right? So in the run game in particular, it's like we're fitting up well, we're getting to our point, we've got the guy we're supposed to block and we're fitting him up. Then we're not just finishing it off and actually just playing football at that point, right? Yeah. So do all the stuff you're supposed to technically, and you're all technically great people because that's why you're in the room. And then let's actually start finishing play. Put people on the ground, QBs putting balls exactly where you want them rather than just sort of going, I've made the right read, now let put it there. No, fucking conviction, all right? Let's get it there. Same with our captain, be precise with it, be purposeful with it, rather than just going through the motions, all right? Are we happy with that? Yeah, sure. Good, double clap to finish, ready, wait. Okay, okay, foot in the sun. Yeah, foot in the sun. Make sure you're hydrated today, make sure you're pasty tight. I've got sun cream all over yourself. This is the last practice of the 108-man squad. Right, because after blue and white, we're gonna cut down to 75, and then we're into basically game week. Again, there's that community for places. It's not competition for places, it's community for places. We're helping everyone get better today. All right, so let's get six lines, get captain out front. That's a hell of a day. Get quick break, get to where you should be, ready? Nice. Woo! Can we all open the gate? Ready, go. One more time, ready, go. Two, one, two. Two. Yeah, good. No, he's going away, so I need to get back and get here. If he goes, he goes away. I see him going around, no, he's going to come across, so I need to go. Ooh. Let's go. Yeah. Too, too wide, the first step. Drive, step it, okay? Yeah, yeah. Nice, David, good. Good, 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 good angles. There's no place secured. There's no kind of, um, you know, set squad. It's a case of you turn up and you produce and you work hard and you do absolutely everything that is asked of you. And that is the bare minimum. You don't get bad players at this level. And we know what we're capable of as a team. We've seen it on the practice field over the last 12 months, 16 months plus. I think this year, this challenge playing against France, it'll be time to kick on to another level. We've got some phenomenal athletes in the UK. Guys who go on to play in the NFL and the CFL and the ELF. We've got some of the best athletes in the world. We just need to put them in a position to succeed. Everyone wants to eat, everyone wants to be successful, but not everyone wants to set the table. So we're asking our guys to look, if you want to be great, you need to do the stuff that greatness demands. If you want to be elite, engage in elite habits. Um, so we don't deal in good. Greatness is our baseline. That's what we're going to aspire to be every single session. Five years time, ten years time, I'd like to have had hundreds of great practices. That's all I really want. This goes for any formation because we're outside linebackers. We need to come down and cover his outside shoulder. Okay, even if, Nelson, Nelson. Okay. We've got a loaded formation, we've got extra gaps over here. We need to play the gap that's on the line of scrimmage and trust the DB to set the edge. Otherwise, I've got loads of uncovered offensive linemen and they're going to go block some DBs and make some yards, right? So I need to be here in a position to set this gap. Oh. Okay, I'm proud as hell of the way we competed today. You know, I thought we started slow this morning, we got sluggish, then we remember who the fuck we were in the afternoon, and we competed and we fought, and we had some good players up both sides of the ball. Made not because of the other side's inability to make plays, but because we were enforcing our will on other people, which is really, really positive to see. <laughs> After eight months, 14 practices, 108 players on the, the squad, we're finally here. All right, and it feels like everything has been gearing towards this moment. We are 24 hours away from starting, being on the field and getting things going. It's a huge moment for British American football, for this program to move forward, to really stand up. The hands in the air saying, yeah, we're ready. We're here to prove a lot of people right, 
your teammates, your friends, your family who have believed in us for the last eight months, eight years, eight weeks, however long you've been involved with the program. And we're here to prove people wrong. We've talked about defending the pride from word go. Defending the badge, defending British American football. We're going to represent ourselves, our families, our teams, and British American football to the best of its ability. Everybody's got an opinion. Like, guys at your clubs will have an opinion. People on social media have got a fucking opinion. But only if you're in this room do you know the work that it's taken to get here and to fucking stay here. So, for me, GB is about... It's a, it's a reward for you and for the fucking grind that you put in off-season, pre-season lifting, through your clubs, kind of battling, you know, funding it yourself, keeping a job in, and also representing your country international and you know, absolutely fucking the French. And that's what it's about. This is a really, really exciting group of guys here, and we're gonna have a phenomenal day tomorrow. And just enjoy every moment of it. Enjoy sitting in the locker room, your leg tapping away, getting, feeling those nerves the first time you're gonna run out sing the national anthem, just enjoy every single moment of it because it goes so quickly right? and I've managed to cling on for far too long now but every time it's something new, it's something special, it's, you just got to enjoy it, just make the most of it and it's going to be fucking phenomenal guys, we're going to have a great time. When you look back in 10, 20, 30 years time, you're not going to remember the game. You're going to remember these people. One of the first things I say to a lot of the rookies I work with is, you don't know it yet, but the people in this room are going to be your best friends for life. There's something very special about representing the GB Lions and sharing that journey. For me, the game's already won because the processes have been right. The team spirit's right. Our interconnectivity is right. The way we eat together. The way we're to the morning walk together. We're ready for this. The scoreboard doesn't matter. All that matters is us, the people in this room. Cherish these moments, take a time when you're getting changed to look around the room and appreciate the journeys you've been on individually and shared and at four o'clock i can guarantee you we won't be disappointed let's fucking get it here we go 45 of you get to wear the jersey today to represent your families your friends the association let's make sure we scratch and claw our way to victory today it's going to get very real, very quickly. Number 40, Ali Hayek gets things underway. And the ball is deep and reversed. Ball reverse field. And the Lions will start their first offensive possession on their own 20-yard line. Man in motion again is Gracie Ainscoe. And it is a given to Ainscoe on that jet sweep. And he's got a little bit of room. Manages to break the first line. First first down of the afternoon. Alisbrook again, this time split backs behind him, and here comes Ainsco in motion once again. Looking to try and capitalise, ball handed off, straight up the middle, big hole! And he breaks it free to the outside, to the 30, the 20, puts back into the 10, he's tackled just inside the 10, at about the 5 yard line, Aaron Odell Sequala. From the stands, here comes the blitz, here it is. DB back off a little, low snap again, Silverio now in trouble, he's being chased, Hunter, and he's down, back inside the 10 yard line, and it's Nelson once again. DB looks to go for pay dirt, they do, they empty the backfield now, and Alisbrook rolls to his right, he's going up top, ball squirts out, that's going to be in and out of the hand, but oh, oh what a break that is! But that unfortunately I think is going to be half time, one play. Off the hell hands and the helmet of the DB and Henry Rowland is on the spot there to make the reception and that is going to be half time Carl but what a way to end it. French start with the ball in the second half Matt 
you made your way across to our studio at halftime, Carl. The rain still is heavy. It is, and it's windier than it looks as well on the field as we get the kickoff going. Lenkowski puts his foot through that. French go to the air on first down, and they find a receiver who we mentioned a couple of times in the first half, Julien Vast. France are coming back into things with a change of quarterback. Looks over the top, he's got a man, and it's caught inside the 10 yard line. There's only five minutes 33 left in the game. So this would be a critical time to score. Run option on this play, Matt. It's just a pitch. It's a pitch out, and it's well read by the Lions. A huge loss. Fourth down then for the French. Looking to open the scoring here in Coventry. And it's blocked! It's blocked and the Great Britain Lions survive! What a defensive series! All right, Alice Brook and the offense then. Can they make this the drive that breaks the deadlock? Let's see how things work out. Third and six for Alice Brook. He's going to the air again. Something simple this time. And it's great catch by Kirby for the conversion. Get that man into the game. Adewale then in motion. Alice Brook now forced to his right. Steps out of the way. Steps again to his left. Tucks the ball. He's got a lane. He's going to put his shoulder and slide. Close to a first down, but it's going to be a few yards short. Right, Blue, is this what we're going to do? Yeah. We're going to run Bravo. Yeah. We're going to hard count it. Okay. Yeah, everybody make sure you yeah. understand that. Do not yeah, fucking count. move. Yeah. So go, go line up in, in field goal formation. Shift to Beef, uh, Henry and Blarge be on the line, do not fucking move. Lenkowski's on and it looks like he's going to attempt a long field goal. Telling me Lenkowski's going to try what would be like a 65 yard kick. Are you telling me that? Oh no, you're not telling us that. Here's Bloomfield lined up. It looks like it's a bunch formation. He's getting them to jump and they jumped and there is the play that gives Great Britain a first down. Hard count from the Titans quarterback. And the crowd erupts. The old Wiley <laughs> Sam Bloomfield. <laughs> New set of downs then for the Lions in this crucial drive in the fourth quarter. Allersbrook going up top, he's got Kirby. Not afraid to take a shot, going to the air again. He's got pressure, he's got a man in the middle. Oh, and it's just the wrong side of Roland. High snap, kick is blocked. The kick is blocked, and what appeared to be celebration for the Lions turns into disappointment. Remember, remember whose house this is. This is our house. Whose house? Our house. Whose house? Our house. Whose house? Our house. Whose house? Our house. Our house. One, two, three. Lions. Four, four, six. One. Here we go. Then. First down, and Silverio is back in at quarterback. First down, ball is handed off, and it's a good run on first down. It's an excellent run on first down. And it's very, very close, but that's a 24-yard pickup. So the French can punch it in from here. And Great Britain will have to equal that. Otherwise Great they Britain will have to match game. it. Yeah. Silverio drops the football! And it's Mark Stewart! Third and goal. Third and goal it is. Stewart from his right. Lineback, outside linebacker position. Looks to blitz, then he drops off. Man over the middle, and it's caught by the French. Touchdown, France. And this crowd has gone silent. Wow. And the kick is blocked. And now it's a scramble, and the kicker gets punished by Charles. So they've got four attempts to get in from here. Allersbrook off to Sekawala. Sekawala's going to dance his way through and in! Touchdown, Lions! Now they've got a chance to kick that extra point. Sekwala! Untouched from 10 yards out. And like you say, Lenkowski has an opportunity to put the Lions a point ahead. Lenkowski then looking to add the extra point. He's kicking his knee sleep. Tension is palpable, and the kick is up, and good! 7-6! Great Britain win! Great Britain win! There is no second possession! 
Our team are who we think they are. Our coaches are who we think they are. All my guys are ballers. Whatever the personnel, whatever situation, we're going to come out and we're going to win. Because that's our resilience, that's our DNA, is we play with poise, we're resilient, we do everything with intent, we're disciplined and we're enthusiastic about what we do. And we're only just scratching the surface. Over the last 12 months, we've played the number one team in Europe and the number four team in Europe. At the start of the cycle, we were ranked eighth. So we are climbing. What's next? Our goal within the next five years is to be champions of Europe. One game doesn't do that, but it's certainly another step on our journey. So, Denmark, we're coming.